Hi guys, welcome back to one of my art videos. It's been a long time, hasn't it? I've had a few requests to do this. Um, thing is, I only have three pieces to share with you since the last video I did, but that's not that I've just done three pieces. I've done a lot more than three pieces, but um, I just don't have that work anymore. They were either done for someone else and I've drawn them and sent them off, or... I've donated them. My church supports a charity and um, they have a table of things, lots of things that people donate and if people want those things they can buy them but put the money in the box that goes off to that charity and so I've been donating some of my drawings and that's what's happened so I don't have them anymore. Uh, I have two here that are mine that I'm keeping and then I have a third one that's I was donating to the church for that charity and as somebody saw the photograph I posted and she's a lady from the church and she said, oh, could I have that? And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll put the money in the charity box. So that's going to be going to her um, on Sunday. So it's here right now. So I'm going to share you that one with you. But um, literally there's only the two of these drawings that are mine to keep right now. So what I've done is I've gone to my Instagram page, my art Instagram, which is time to pause, time and then the number two pause. And I've screenshot some of the drawings that I haven't shared with you before. And so I'm going to stick them on the end of the video so you can get an idea of what I've been up to. But they're literally screenshots. So don't expect great quality pictures, I'm afraid. Uh, but at least you can see where I've been up to. Other thing, somebody's drilling outside. They started this at four o'clock this morning, by the way. So if you can hear noises, uh, I say this every video because I live on that kind of a street. If you can hear noises, please excuse it. It's outside and I have no control over my neighbours. Right, getting to it. This drawing here is from Doctor Who because I'm a big Doctor Who fan. She is the latest Doctor, the first female incarnation of the Doctor's character. I like her. My opinion. I'm allowed to have it. Um, and yeah, I drew her. Actually, this is this is Mark II of this drawing. The first drawing, I don't know if you remember me mentioning in one of my other videos that I'd rocked it. I did. I took the drawing out. I was on the way out to the back garden because that's where I... Um, like to photograph the drawings to post on Instagram, get the best light outside and uh, I dropped it on the way out and it landed face down in a little bit of mud. <sighs> yeah, just like the toast always lands but the side down, the drawing is always going to land drawing side down and she ended up with mud all up her cheek here and all up on the top of her head. So I tried to clean it off, but it just ended up lifting fibres out of the paper. I still have the original drawing because it was really good. In my own opinion, it was really good. So I, d I just didn't have the heart to chuck it away. I still have it. It's not horrendous. It's just you can see there's sort of a graze here and up here. But I decided to redraw it. This is the second attempt. It turned out quite well. I'm happy with it. It looks a lot like the first one. It's clearly the first drawing. Um, you know, it's of the same image. I still prefer the first one, but I drew the second one in frustration, I guess. So there you go. This is it, guys. This is the one I was talking about. This is Mark Two of Geordie playing Doctor Who. And uh, I will probably draw her again, but not this particular image because I've done it twice and I've had enough. I don't want to draw that one again. I was only supposed to draw it once, but yeah, quite pleased with it. It's fun to do. It's a great, it's a great expression on her face, and I love grabbing expressions. Speaking of which, we have this one. Let me see if you can see her. This is always fun. This because I don't have a desk. I don't have a proper setup here. I'm using an iPad and piece of cardboard to display these images, and this likes to fall over. Right, this is also a Doctor Who character. This is Missy, the mistress. The master. Uh, if you know Doctor Who, you will likely to know who the master is, and this was her or his latest reincarnation, which is 
incarnation, not reincarnation, latest incarnation, which was also a woman, and yeah, Missy. Love this character, she's one of my favourite characters actually. And I decided to draw her and I decided to try colours because I have a small selection of colour pencils, good quality colour pencils, expensive colour pencils, but it's a small selection. And I've been thinking about getting a larger collection of pencils, but I don't want to spend that kind of money on something if I'm rubbish at it. Sure, you can understand that. So I decided, you know what, I've only drawn one picture in colour before, which I know I've shared that with you before, it's a lion. If you want to look back through my art playlist, if you go to my playlist as an art one, you'll be able to see that. Um, I, I really liked how that drawing turned out, but I was very light with the pencils. I didn't really put a lot of depth into it. Well, no, that's the wrong word. There's depth in it, but there's not much... Um, I forget the correct word for it but the contrast between the shades is not very good so I wanted to do a little bit more with that and try and really bring out colours and experiment with them I thought if I can do that then I will likely go and buy a bigger collection of colours so this was my experiment I'm quite pleased with how it turned out I am and I'm I think I'm gonna go on eBay at some point and look for a bigger collection of colours like the skin colour here is not going to look right to you I know it's not going to look right to you because I took the photograph of this to put on Instagram and the amount of photographs I took in utter frustration because her skin was, was not looking skin coloured through the camera and I know that's the white balance of the camera but oh. <laughs> I was so frustrated because she was either coming out looking green tinted or bright orange and she's not she is skin colored um trust me but the actress here although she's she's scottish um she has a, i think it's a mexican heritage so she's got a lovely dark skin um not, dark skin's not the right word she's got a very nice tanned looking skin permanent tan so it's de she's definitely should have a darker tone than me but <laughs> on the camera she keeps coming out looking either green or bright orange depending on what lighting I'm stood in I couldn't get the right tone that it actually is in person it's actually pretty decent in person and that's not bad considering I only had two really skin tone colours to work with and I just kept mixing them up until I got where I wanted to be and I'm quite pleased with it so I thought well if I have more variety to work with then I'm going to be able to get a better colour you know what I mean so I think I'll do that and I, I loved it I had so much fun working with the colour pencils the hair she's she's supposed to have this crazy hair this is <laughs> this isn't me like oh I can't be bothered to do the hair I'll just draw squiggles this this is what they were going for with this character she's um portrayed as being like a crazy nanny kind of person she's she's mental um and then I had this fretwork around the outfit here around the collar of the um, coat that was that was along with the hair the most frustrating thing to draw that was ah. but I did have fun with the colours that's it's it's different to just working with pencils working with colours because you got you got the same skills as with the pencil work because you got to get the that word is just eluding me today <laughs> the qualities of it the different you know shape the shape contrast in the 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 um, darks and the light but then you've got to mix in the colour as well so it's 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 fun it's, it's more of a challenge and I really enjoyed it now the last drawing I'm going to show you is the one that's not staying with me because somebody has bought it for the money to go to the charity not for me to keep just so everybody knows that because I'm not allowed to earn an income right now um, the money's going to the charity so I'm going to get this one this one's an A3 so it's a lot bigger than these A4 ones you're looking at right now so we live in that kind of a backwards world where Three is bigger than four. Um, now let me lay this down because this is going to be a bit awkward for me to get. I'm not going to be able to stand it on here because she'll not be able to see much. Um, uh, excuse my arm if you notice. Now I haven't done any ma massive injury. I must have been laid on it all night last night and it's so stiff and sore that if I accidentally use this hand today it's painful. Really painful. So I've just put a support bandage on it. I keep doing this. I don't know what's going on. 
some weird sleep habits at the minute. <laughs> as long as I sleep, though, that's the important thing, right? Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. There we are. Like this, I'll move that out of the way because you've got a shadow. This is my latest one that I literally finished days ago. Um, it's part of a series that I've been inspired to do. And I was thinking this is the hand of God, which it is. But I, I believe it's representing prayer. Uh, the first one I did was, I, I'm sure I shared the first one. It was a bigger hand leading a smaller hand along. So it was like prayer of leadership um for you know guidance prayer for guidance and then i did another one which i haven't shared but i'm going to put the photograph on at the end and that was hands releasing a dove so that was prayer about power and releasing the holy spirit and then this one is intercession and i hope you can see it it's, it's all, i'm in an awkward position and it does look blurred i'm sorry it's it's not it's i'm very pleased with how this came out there was there's a lot of detail on it and um i know the camera is not going to be Picking it up, like I said, cameras are so frustrating. Um, but you can go check this out on Time to Pause on Instagram if you like, and then you'll be able to see it much better. Excuse me, Mum's yelling. No, I'm not in the bathroom. <laughs> Real life. Um, yeah. So um, this one's already going to someone here. So yeah, that's that. And check out Time to Pause to see it properly. And. Uh, that's it that's the latest one right there quite pleased with how it does oh the cameras are so frustrating especially when you're using an ipad and it's not going to be uploaded in hd otherwise it'll take the rest of the day and i have other things i need my ipad for so sorry about that guys but there you go they are the latest well yeah, they're not the latest but the latest ones that i have this is the latest just to clarify this is the latest but the other ones are the latest i have and the ones splattered about in between i'm going to try and put the photographs on at the end right here so uh, enjoy them and i'm going to go because if i talk any longer i'm not going to have room to put the other ones on the end okay take care guys and uh check out the rest of the playlist if you haven't seen them bye bye